Uh, first of all, thank you so much for sitting down with me. Um, I saw this and at first I really thought it was found footage. And you got all these great, amazing actors, which by the way, I didn't look at who the actors were either yet. But then I started recognizing voices. And so as soon as I did that, I was like, oh my God, this is, this is, that's Shane Tatum. You know, is, is that Daniel Craig? Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. So, so where did the idea come from? Where was the spark of the idea? Well, the idea is, was basically Brian and I grew up in the 80s and we loved movies like Red Dawn and oh, like yeah. Rocky IV where sort of, you know, demon, it was late years later we realized that these movies totally demonized like the Soviet Union and, and had sort of had this like America awesome kind of mentality and we mm -hmm. thought, you know, what if we did a movie that used, or a show that used all the sort of Hollywood tropes and like the Hollywood uh, polish and the sort of Hollywood swagger but we did it from the other side of the Iron Curtain, as if this is what they were watching while we were watching Red Dawn. Um, and that's basically the, the journey. I love all those movies. They're sort of like entertainment, propaganda, Cold War type. I never thought about that. It's true though, isn't it? It's totally true, yeah. yeah. And you don't really think about that till you're older, and I, I still love those, those films, but we just thought it could be potentially interesting to sort of flip uh, those sort of classic tropes that, that we're used to. Um, so we looked at global television from around the world and we came to find that, you know, um, there, there were all these, there was a whole world of television behind the Iron Curtain that you're never, you know, aware of growing up oh. uh, in the West. Tell me about building, building the, the TV series because it, there were so many great, like, one-liner type of things in there. Did you write down all these things that, okay, we're going to make sure we call them uh, fascist pigs? And we're gonna make sure that uh, that uh, well, there's never murder here. This is really bizarre. We had a murder, you know. Yeah. Uh, did you make some rules for this as you uh, started writing it? Um, well, one of the things I think Reese, uh, when he came on, brought to it was that, and this is to uh, add to something that you had said before, is like he wanted to always err on the side of this. You could mistake this for a real show. Yeah. So like that's I think one of the th one of the ways that we were just trying to always take it from the point of view of like there's a bunch of communist bureaucrats in Romania who are writing this so it's That's always going to be from that point of view yeah. like it's never going to try to go too far broad mm -hmm. to the point where it takes you out so those were the only rules I think that yeah. we were constantly sure yeah so making sure that we never felt like we were commenting as Americans on it. Yeah, as a director, you've never done this before, have you? No, not this time I've done it. What was, what was that? It's like almost a different muscle, isn't it? Yeah, it took us all uh, some figuring out. Like early on, we didn't quite know what it was going to be like and, and sort of also tonally what it might do to the show because we, we had cut all six episodes in Romanian um, fully and it worked in Romanian with subtitles great. Uh, and and had a certain tone to it and so when we started dubbing it was this feeling like oh is this the you know like is it getting too absurd is it getting silly like and, and where do we pitch it so we we spent about um two or three days right at the very beginning of the process we just brought in some uh friends uh mm -hmm. and had them just basically mess around with it like we say oh take this character in this episode do this and some people would do voices some people would play abroad some people would straight just play it straight and we and it was really a nice moment of experimentation for us all to kind of find where we wanted to kind of hit yeah. things um, and I think we definitely we realized our sessions were getting a lot better by the end yes. I think we, we became pros by the end also if, if you know from the perspective of we're making this the state is making this then they would want to present sort of the best look possible they would yeah. 100% for, absolutely for and uh, you know also just as, as the show really is you know, underneath being a cop show, it's, you know, a satire, a propaganda, and Romania was, you know, uh, an authoritarian state, essentially, and uh, yeah. so it, it was a place that we felt like we could, you know, derive some, some interesting parallels to um, for modern audiences. Um, for somebody that hasn't begun to watch it yet, um, what could you say that would best describe what this whole journey is about, this, this, this uh, particular series? It's a study on propaganda, but and that's sort of what we're really we were really sort of interested in mining. However, it's like we said, like it's it is a good show. It's a great. It's show. a great cop show. You know what yeah. I mean? With like twists and turns, and uh, there's a mystery, and there's characters that you root for, and there's a an, an, you know an overriding arc. It's not just. I think people. It's like what Reese was saying before. Is 
people get this idea that it's sort of a one note gag or a one joke that's over the course of six episodes and you know that wasn't our intention I don't think that's what we ended up doing we did an actual so you can appreciate it as an, just an actual television show yeah and I, and I think as well the show comes from a what we all kind of bonded on was was that we all sort of are fans of of you know sort of late seventies early eighties like the, the cinema more than anything mm-hmm. and and so, so we again we sort of all connected on Brian De Palma and Ron Polanski and, and also John McTeen and, and and Rich Donner and and so those so it, if again if you're a fan of that world of of cinema as mm-hmm. well like that's kind of what we were also celebrating uh, in it and just oh, wanted yeah. to do something that was again not just didn't feel contemporary that had it, you know, took you back to that time. So we have a, a, a traditional melodic score of it, you know, and, and it, you know, it's got that sort of bounce to it. Yeah, the music was even amazing. Yeah, 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 no, yeah our composer Joe Kramer did an amazing, amazing job. Yeah. yeah, guys, this, uh, I just gotta tell you, it was one of the most refreshing, smartest, well put together uh, TV series I've seen in a long time. It was unexpected. Uh, you guys just killed it. Um, I, I, honestly, I would like to see if, if if we could see you know another six come around. If you guys Love think it. you could build that, I mean, because this it. is this you know because you you really I saw something there that I, I want to see more of. Cool. Uh, just genius. So thank you so thank much you. for spending thank time you. with us. Thank you. I know that when you're building shows like this, that there's so many things that go into. There's a zillion people behind the scenes, but um, it was just incredible. So thank, thank you so much, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank All you. right, good. thanks, guys. Appreciate it so thank much. You. Adios, amigos! <laughs> Let it go!